Hi there, Craig here from Fish Steaks on Halo Infinite. I'm just going to bring you a quick video on a few of the things that I do to help me gain XP quickly and to get myself moving up that battle pass. So the first thing that I tend to keep in mind is in the UK at the moment the challenge reset time is 5pm. And I'm going to put on screen right now some ties to some other places around the world so you can keep an eye on that and um, compare it to your own time zone. So come 5pm, I know at some point after that there'll be um, a new set of challenges on a Tuesday or otherwise at 5pm on every day the first game of the day counter resets. And the reason that this is important is that 343 recently updated the XP system for your first six games of the day, of the day, sorry, which I'm going to put on screen now. And as you can see, the first game of the day after this reset time, so for me, five o'clock, gets me 300 XP. The second game, 200 XP, third, 200, 100, 100, and 100, before the seventh game goes back to the default of 50 XP per game. Now this is important because um, I like to, especially on a Tuesday, put on a double XP boost before I start playing my first game of the day. That way, by the time I've, I've completed the sixth game, I should have got enough experience to level up two full levels on the battle pass, which is obviously great, and we love it. Um, and the important thing is to keep in mind on the Tuesday is you get new weekly challenges. Now, as you can see on the screen now, the weekly challenges um, vary, but they tend to start off easier. And any ones that you can see, I think, in this like sort of dark grey colour, if it doesn't say in PvP at the end, it means you can do them in bot matches. Obviously, you can't do the play quick play matches one in bot matches, but things like where it says kill en enemy Spartans with the commando rifle, you can do that against bots because it doesn't say in PvP at the end. Same for the Bulldog, same for the Assault Rifle, and you can also get ones that say capture free flags and capture the flag. If it doesn't say in PvP games at the end of it, it means you can do it against bots. And doing things against bots and getting challenges done in this game is much quicker and typically much easier. So come a Tuesday reset, I would like to put on a double XP boost, see what challenges I've got, and try to get out six games within the double XP time, which is currently set to an hour. Um, it says in game they're on for 30 minutes, but 343 doubled it to an hour. And you should easily manage to get six bot games won and completed within that hour. And you should also manage to get a lot of these challenges done as well. Now as you complete some of these challenges, it will slowly trickle through and it will say in PvP, or you might need to play quick play matches or big team matches or ranked matches. But as, as a rule of thumb, I tend to try and get as much as I can that... Um, out the way in bot games and then I just start working on the PvP stuff and if I'm if I'm lucky and quite efficient I might be able to get onto the, some of the PvP stuff before my hour double XP boost even runs out so I think at the end of this particular stint that I did on Tuesday and um, I started I think at level 36 on the battle pass I said I've been playing as much as I can I'm nowhere near as much as many and I haven't bought any levels and um, so I started at level 36, I put on double XP boost, got my six games done against bots, got all my um, challenges that I could do against bots done, and I think started to move on to PvP, and I think by the end of it, I think I'd gone up about five or six levels, which is fab. So, to conclude, my personal top tips are, obviously, keep an eye out when you do have double XP boosts and use them efficiently. I said, typically... Um, use them for the first six games of the day or if you're about to get and um, complete a bunch of challenges that are worth a lot of XP that might be a worthwhile time as well hopefully you can sync them up to get those challenges done and get your first six games of the game day done apologies and um, at the same time and also just keep an eye on those big challenges coming through and trying to sync them up with when you got double XP on. I think you can gain double XP. I gained quite a lot through the Monster Energy Drink promotion in the UK a while ago. I think you can also earn some of them through the Battle Pass, I believe. And I also think I recently um, saw that if you're on Game Pass Ultimate, you'll get some monthly bonuses that may include double XP boost from that as well. And if you want to, I think you can, you can also buy double XP boosts and challenge swaps in the shop. So, Happy leveling up. I've been Craig. Cheers.